Hi everyone. I'd like to show with you today um, a little project that I've been working on and um, it's not finished but I'd like to show you um, what I've done so far and then I will come back later and show you um, the finished product. But um, as you probably know, Graphic 45 now sells what they call staples. And they have some um, like chipboard flowers and buttons and they also have lace and tags. Um, but what caught my eye was a craft envelope that they have. Um, it's an album. And so I thought I'd try to make one and um, this is what I, um, how I made mine. I did use um, the craft paper and um, it has a flap here. And then it has um, five envelopes, and the back is a six one. So there's six total. And then um, each one has a place, um, you know, like a pocket on each one. And then I used my cinch to bind it. So I'd like to go ahead and show you um, how I made this. And um, what you will need is um, a way to score it. I do have um, my score pal, and let me see if I can get um, a better view here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use my score pal. And on the first sheet, um, you'll need six of these, and this is a seven inch. This is cut seven by eight and a half. And all I did was get an eight and a half by eleven. I cut off um, a few inches. And so I have my seven here. And what you'll do is you'll score it at a half inch. So there's seven and there's a six and a half. You'll go ahead and score it at half. Then you'll flip it this way and score it at two. And then again at six. Okay. So then you're going to have one side that is two inches and the other side will be two and a half. And um, the reason I did that is because I actually like, once you fold it, um, I like that one side um, overlaps the other. And so that gives you a place um, to put your adhesive. And um, so I'll go ahead and show you what you do. So on this corner here, you're going to have this little section. I go ahead and cut that off all the way to that score line. And maybe white was not the best color to use for this, but um, anyway, go ahead and cut that off. There. So that's what you're going to have. Then I got my, um, my crocodile, and then I used the quarter inch side. Oops. Sorry. And then I rounded the corners on this flap here. Okay, then what you'll do is um, you'll use your adhesive, and I used my score tape, and you run it across here, and go ahead and glue that down, and then you'll glue this flap down as well. So there's um, the one envelope. I'm going to turn this way. But um, there it is. You have adhesive here and here, and there's your opening. Okay, for the other one, you will use the 8.5 by 11 paper. And um, let me see if I can. Okay. And what you do on this one is you go ahead and you um, score it at a half inch. And then you flip it this way. And you score it at six and go all the way down and then at two and go all the way. Okay. Then you'll go ahead and you'll score it at seven. Okay. You'll do on this one, you'll go ahead and do the same thing. You'll cut off these two little um, corner pieces here. And then you'll cut off these here. And I'm not cutting very straight, but anyway. Go ahead and 
do this side. Okay, so then you'll have a piece that looks like this. I'll go ahead and move this out of the way. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so then you'll go ahead and you'll fold it larger side first, the two and a half inch side. Okay, and then the other side. Then you'll go ahead and round your corners. And like I said, I'm, I'm trying not to take too long, so I'm not doing a very good job, but anyway. Okay, so you'll go ahead and you'll do your adhesive. Like I said, I use I use score tape. You can use sticky tape or glue. And go ahead and glue this down. Then on this side, you can just decide how you want your flap. You can just round the corners. You can cut it at an angle. What I did on mine is I used this little um, punch. And it is by oh, Tonic. little Tonic Punch. And it's the ticket and the tag. All I did was use the tag. So I'll go ahead and I'll do that here. So you just slip that in there. And you just cut the corners off. Okay. So then there is the back flap. And what I did on mine is um, I added some extra score lines. You can see there. And they're like at a quarter inch. And um, so then that gives it, um, you know, some room to bend. And then, um, then what you can do is, um, then I'll I'll put a closure on there. But I'm not going to do that yet until I cover it. So anyway, that's um, how you do it. And then you just use your, either you bind it all or your cinch or or twine or whatever you want to do to bind it. So anyway, there is my little um, craft envelope album, and um, hope you like it. Sorry for the quick tutorial. This is actually my first tutorial. So um, anyway, once I get it um, covered and decorated, I'll, sh I'll come back and I'll show it to you. So anyway, there you go. Pretty simple. I hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.